Hello, I am Nitesh Pradhan from Lab on Multisim. In this video, I will show you how can you plot a bar graph, okay, using your numeric data. So let's see how can we plot this one. So here you can see it is my uh, sinusoidal uh, waveform which I had plotted here. Now you can see clearly. So let's see how can we plot this one. So for that, please open a new VI. Press Ctrl T, right click here, come here, come into the modern style and in this modern style, if you will come into the 3D, 3D graph, so you will find here a bar. So take the bar and place here, place it properly on the front panel. Now right click, come here, right click and come into the numeric, take a numeric constant right click convert it into the array change into the array and increase the dimensions now you can see it is okay two dimensions array so here i am going to put some data two three four five four three two now here one sorry here i am going to put the six Six, six, minus six, minus six, um, minus six, and one. Now here I am going to connect this graph using the Z matrix of this plotter helper and run the program. Now you can see, you e you can easily. Uh, create this kind of the gra uh, bar graph now you can see this orange one the orange one is representing my this uh, uh, 6 6 6 minus 6 and 1 line and now you can see this red one is showing my the first one data we have only total 7 elements so now you can see the complete total element here Okay, so let's see how it will display, uh, how it will work with the sinusoidal waveform. How it will work with the sinusoidal waveform. So for that, right click, come here, take a for loop, right click, come into the measurement uh, uh, mathematics, come into the elementary trigonometry, take a sine of cos, place here, take the data outside. Here I'm going to write the signal for 100, well, 100 numbers and just take a divide function just take a divide functions and divide the i value with the 10 then come here and take a build function from the array build array functions open the label build array make a connection like this and run your program now you can see okay let's stop the program first okay there is only one problem because i had pressed this uh, run continuous button so i need to abort now just run a program once now you can see is clearly able to generate the sinusoidal wave okay one is the sine wave and another one is the cos wave suppose if i will take one more concept here uh, one more signal suppose if i will take one more signal here now from mathematics trigonometry elementary and uh, and sync and if i will take the output like this and let's connect the output with the sync and run so we will get a sync signal here also now you can see the ye yellow one is my sync signal so thank you for watching this video easily you can plot your uh, bar graph using these functions the important thing is to find out the plot helper and automatically you will get this plot helper when you will uh, search this 3d bar from front panel 